What is going on guys? It's Justin from the J Media back with another video. So uh, last few vlogs you guys might have saw the low class millet here car vlogs. If you guys missed that make sure to click the past few videos. Uh, it was my last indoor car show so a lot of fun. Also super humbled to take home Bass Mitsubishi in the car show. So a little bit of uh, I guess you can say hardware I took home with my pride and joy my Mitsubishi Lancer turbo build. Um, and over the years, I've been able to inspire quite a few of you guys to either get a Mitsubishi Lancer or Turbo Lancer. So super awesome. Um, I will be pretty pretty much spending, I think this is the last day here at the family house. Uh, my parents have been visiting from Singapore the past few months, so I've been living here more. But with them being gone, I'm going to be moving back home. So you guys might not see the SI or my Mitsubishi Lancer as often. So decided... Why not make a little video, show you guys the car before we part ways with two of my cars for a while. So we're back here in the garage and last show like I said, Mitsubishi Lancer took home the award. Uh, I haven't cleaned it since I came back home after my one and a half hour drive from San Antonio. But with ceramic coat, you know, car still looks pretty good, doesn't look too bad. Um, and like I said, uh, she's going to be sitting in the garage for a while until the next show. Um, as of right now, I don't have any immediate plans for, for you know, mods or anything like that for the car. But um, I do want to tidy up my engine bay a little bit. So I do have quite a lot of these uh, black and red wires. So whenever I have time, I hope to be able to do some wire tucking and rerouting some of the wires and lines and stuff like that. Definitely want to clean up my engine bay a little bit more. So yeah, hopefully we'll be able to find some time to get that done on the Mitsubishi Lancer build. Also have my brother Supra. He took it out to the same low class military show. And he typically doesn't take his car out to too many car shows. So it was nice having him show his car beside mine. Um, it's always a joy to be able to cruise together as well as go to car shows together with both these beautiful cars. And speaking of daily drivers, this is the Rally Art. So since I've been in the family house, I haven't been driving the Rally Art as much. And that's because we've been driving my old daily driver, the Civic SI, a little bit more. So I definitely enjoy driving the SI. It's been quite a while since I've daily driven the SI. Um, great car, so much fun to drive with these six-speed manual transmission. And when it hits VTEC, this car definitely comes alive. Um, I would say in a straight line, Rally Art's still quicker because of the turbo and all-wheel drive, but there's something about rolling through the gears in the SI that's so much fun. What do you guys think? I have been going back and forth um, among all my cars. If I were to sell one, it's probably going to be the Civic SI. If anyone's seriously interested in this thing, slide in my DMs, let me know. Uh, I have a rough idea in mind how much I would sell the car for. Um, I'll sell it as is with the race gram light wheels, the full HFP kit and all that goodies. Uh, fun car, makes for a great daily driver. Only has, I, I want to say 70 something thousand or 80 something thousand miles on it. So super low miles for a 2008 car. Um, great car. I honestly would like to keep it, but we'll see. We'll see. If I can keep it, I will. Uh, but if I have to make space for more projects, then I might have to let this one go. Really, Art still works great. Um, love the hatchback. You can store so much parts. Uh, what I really do need to do is find some time. And I want to get the Voltex from bumper painted for the S2000 so we can slip that on. Uh, I've had the Voltex from bumper now for, God, almost a year. Um, it's just been sitting so whenever you have the time hopefully we can get that done uh, With the rally art we should be able to fold the rear seats down Much more space right here and the hopefully bumper fits So yeah, pretty excited for that once the Voltex front bumper gets painted We'll also fix the fenders on the S2000 and then what I'll probably do is we'll get the Voltex type 2 carbon fiber wings slapped on to the S2000 as well so that should look pretty nice and aggressive. And I haven't been showing the S2000 and that's because again, I'm staying at the family house. So uh, we don't have the S2000 here. She's at the family home in the garage sitting. Haven't been able to see or drive the car for a while. Definitely miss it. But while I'm here, I just wanted to enjoy the Mitsubishi Lancer Turbo Build and the Civic Si. 
two cars that I don't get to see or drive too often. And uh, about the past two weeks or so, I've been daily driving this SI. And she drives great, no issues, um, doesn't skip a beat. I mean, literally, car is still an amazing and fun car to drive, even though I haven't driven it for, you know, a few months. Even the Mitsubishi Lancer car, you know, it's a car that I don't drive much at all. I could go a few months without driving it sometimes. And when I start it, start it up, drive it, and this drive's amazing. Uh, did a couple pulls on my way to San Antonio. And like I said, car still drives great, pulls hard. Uh, it's been about three years since we turbocharged this car. And if you guys are wondering, like I said, no issues. Uh, first part is you want to make sure your install's done right. I had the guys at Longs Automotive put together the turbo build for me. Um, no oil leaks, no boost leaks, you know, everything's great. Um, three years in. And then also, depending on what transmission you have, if you have a CVT transmission, you want to run low boost, five to seven pounds of boost. If you have a manual transmission, you want to run maybe seven to 10 pounds of boost. But make sure not to over boost it. Um, yeah, I mean, I don't daily drive it, so I can't say for sure, but. When I do drive it, I push it hard for sure. I definitely push it hard. And here's the S2000 bumper, literally sitting in my room. It's been almost a year, it takes quite a bit of space. So yeah, uh, right now I'm still in the fiberglass. This is the street bumper with the carbon fiber lid. So I need to be painted with the match rest of my S2000. Pretty stoked for it. Um, I'm really excited. I just waiting on the shop right now. To find a slot to fit me in so that we can get this front bumper painted. Also, when we're on the topic of car parts, I might liquidate and sell some of the rare JDM parts I have, I guess you could say. Um, I have quite a few parts. So some stuff like the ERC shift knob I want to keep. I had two. I sold one to a subscriber. Um, I might let go of this right here. So this is the Chasing J's Titanium Oil Cap. Fits the Mitsubishi Lancer Evo as well as Lancer Platform. Uh, might let this go. Uh, some other goodies, I don't know. This doesn't fit on any of my cars. It's a Veil Sight uh, Oil Cap for the SR20. But, you know, cool JDM points. Also have stuff like the ARC Oil Caps up here. Uh, I have quite a few of them. Some at this house, some at the other house. So as you guys can tell, I have a pretty much a display of like JDM stuff as well as little, you know, high B stuff going on. Yeah, some of my hobbies. If you guys made it to the end, make sure to leave a thumbs up. Hit the subscribe if you're new to the channel. Thank you so much for watching and we'll catch you guys in the next one.